welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man 4. Let's go after the last of the eight robot masters. Get him out of the way so that we can go after Dr. Cossack. I don't mind... I still don't really like the ladybug... I don't know what it is, this game is just going crazy with the one-ups today. But yeah, I don't really like the ladybug robots ever, but at the same time, I can't really mind them as much when they're not being placed over instant kill spikes and bottomless pits, you know? Speaking of instant death spikes... Really need that energy, so I'll just leave it there. All right. I'm gonna use the balloon here. Actually, no. I'm gonna use the rush coil here. Oh wait, actually, he can't land on. Sp he can land on spikes. All right. Ah, I see. You just have to position him correctly, kind of in the middle somewhere. There we go. Yeah, I'd say Rush Coil is your best bet for getting past that unharmed. I always hate it when they have ceiling spikes. I don't even know if I can jump high enough to get into that, into the spikes up there, but you just feel like you can, even if you can't. Well, it's a shame that I'm not going to get that one up before it fades, but on the other hand, I have so many, because this game's going so nuts with them, that even if I had picked it up, it wouldn't have actually added to my total anyway. But I can get another E-Tank, which I'm probably not going to need, considering I have extra lives to fall back on instead, but hey, a little extra help never hurt anyone. hate those things. Quite a bit. Let's just ignore it. Try to slide as you get under that thing. See the little little shoot in the ceiling with the arrows. Those will always spit out rocks, so you gotta slide under them so that you don't get hit. If you're not stupid. This is a rather interesting gimmick. You gotta flip the switches to uh, materialize more like ground. Interesting gimmick but not one I ever really liked much. Anyway, Skull Barrier is nice to uh, easily avoid some hits and stuff here. Ah. Oh, that was close. And we're at the end, alright. I'm not in such good shape. Might actually die against this boss. But that's alright, I've got plenty of lives and whatnot. Though I will have to listen to his annoying health filling up thing again, but oh well. The dive missiles are kinda awesome in that they will hone in on the enemy. So you don't even really have to face him when you fire it. You can't hit him when he's diving into the ground, unfortunately. You want to keep moving when he oh after he dives into the ground because he will come up where you're standing if you just stand still. Oh, actually came close to beating him with. Well, I didn't have that little health, but it wasn't that much either. Well, I'll get him this time. Come on, round two. He always starts by diving into the ground, so no use in shooting a missile. Yeah, if you just stand still, if you just stand still, he will come up right where you're standing. So keep moving. Try not to fire off your missiles too rapidly, or you'll just use them all up, not dealing any damage to him. Because of course you can't hit him when he's flashing. Ah, uh, he avoided that one. Only got one more, and it wasn't enough to finish him. 
but my Mega Buster is. Didn't even have to charge it up. Didn't need the Mega Buster, just needed the little pea shooter. Anyway, that's the last boss down, so now we're gonna get his power up, and then we're gonna be able to go for the final stages. You got Drill Bomb. That is the most awesome bomb ever. It's a jet-powered drill that explodes. How can you not love it? And Rush Jet is always my favorite rush ability. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this video. Next time, we will go after Dr. Cossack. See you then.